Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Recovery Lab TV. My name is Chris. I'm your coach and sports therapist. And today we are going to be doing our lower body strength session. So that's consisting of literally targeting the hips, uh, hitting those kind of key uh, core muscles in the legs. Okay, so quads, hamstrings, calves, um, safeguarding the ankles, getting them nice and strong. Morning, Kim. How are you doing? Um, so to everybody in the room, they're already firing through. Uh, use that comment section. Say hello. Uh, don't be a stranger. It's good to see you all. Um, uh, and it's the, it's the only way I know who is actually in the class. Um, all it does is tell me a number. So uh, the moment you say hello in the comment section, um, I, I've got a face and a name. So hello. <laughs> How are you doing? I uh, hope you're all having an amazing day. The sun's literally just shining through the window, which is nice. Uh, hopefully it's going to be a nice warm one because uh, this morning, 6 o'clock, it was all cloudy and miserable and all the rest of it. So hopefully it's going to be an amazing day and we're going to kick start with this class, okay? So the things you're going to need are a bottle of water, okay, or a glass of water, depending on um, what you have at home. You're going to need a mat, okay, you're going to need some mini bands, so little resistance bands that go around your legs, these are mine. Um, you're going to need a big band if you have one, just like so, about an inch thick, a centimetre thick, okay. If you have weights, you're going to need those, grab them all, okay, heavier the better. Um, and yeah, boom. There we go, okay, so, how are we all? Hope you're all good. Hope you all enjoyed yesterday's session. Um, it was great to see so many of you push yourselves in, in kind of uh, various different ways, um, and hopefully we can have the same today. I know you're going to do your best. You're going to see me give my best, okay, um, and you'll see this all hot, red, and sweaty shortly, okay? So, that being said, let's gently whip back, warm up, Stretch things out, okay? What you're going to do, you're going to draw forward, you're going to come forward just like so, and you're going to pause for a second, okay? That foot is level and flat, okay? It's nice and straight in line with your hands, okay? Those wrists are in line with the ankle, and uh, and yeah, everything's facing forward. So from there, if you can, try and separate your toes, give them a little wiggle, space them out, give them some room to move. And then from there, what you're going to do, you're going to draw your knee out and back in, just like so. Now, notice how my foot isn't moving. I'm not lifting it up like this, okay? That's not happening. The foot stays flat. Push my big toe down into the floor, okay? That's going to engage the archway of my foot and hopefully your foot. So nice and loose. Good. From there. Bending that inside arm, okay, you're going to slide the forearm down, tap the floor, and shoot it back up, just like so. That's good. Nice and gentle. That's it. Loosening up the hips. You've got a slight bend in that arm. If you did yesterday's, your shoulders might be <laughs> sore already. So I apologize for that. Good, last one. Good, now from there you're gonna try and drop your elbow down so your elbow is now in line with your heel. Okay, it's gonna force you to lean over on one side more. You're gonna place your hands on the back of your head. You're gonna stretch out as much as you can. Then you're gonna rotate, try and get that elbow down to the floor. And a big old twist opening up that chest. Just like so. That's it. Deep as you can. Good. From there, gently swapping over. Swap it back, bring it back up. Okay, spend the time there a minute. Make sure everything's nice and straight and in line. Draw your toes down, separate them. Draw your hip out as much as you can. In and out, nice and gentle. Just to wake up that hip.
Sit nice and steady. Good. From there, bending that inside arm. Same again, sliding down, tapping the floor, coming down, all right? So you're trying to keep that arm dead straight. You're not trying to hit the elbow first or the forearm, uh, the wrist first. Keeping it dead straight. So you hit everything as one. So last two, last one, good. From there, drop the outside arm. Again, elbow in line with your heel. Opposite hands on top of your head, rotating that body as much as you can and bringing that elbow right around. Big deep breaths. That's it. There we go. Say so two more. Good job. So, from there, what you're gonna do, gonna go into a box shape, just like so. You're gonna lift up, legs nice and straight, okay? You're gonna come up, you're gonna rotate, you're gonna bring it as tall as you possibly can. You're gonna pop it down and come back, okay? So from there, if I go a little further forward, you might be able to see a little bit better. Come up, rotate, run all the way as far forward as I can. I'll pop my heel down, and come back around, back down, back up, rotate, as tall as I can, and back. Okay, keep that going. Good, last one. Good, swap it sides. Exact same thing again, okay? So lifting up, rotating, as tall as you can. Keeping that leg straight as you can. Good, last two. Last one. Good. From there, grab your little band, okay? So these little mini bands, you've got, grab those. What you're gonna do, you're gonna slide it on your legs, about a hands span away from your knees. Nice and evenly. So 
Place your hand just under the knee, and that's where your band should be, okay? All right. So what you're going to do, you're going to pop your feet together. You're going to use a little raised surface if you can. Okay. Just like so, you're going to slide that bum as close to that object as you can. So for me, using my sofa, as you can see, your knees are going to stay together. You're going to draw up. Okay, get a straight line from your knee all the way down to your shoulder. Then you're going to draw out as much as you can. Come back in. Come all the way down. Tap. Shoot up. Open out. Back in. Back down, okay? Feet it together if you can, okay? You ready? Go to two, one, and go. Big drive up. Big stretch out. Back down. Good. That's it. Keeping those hips up. Squeezing that back, squeezing that bum, squeezing those hamstrings. Keep it up, keep it going. From there, holding it at the top. Okay, so keeping your hips up, keeping your back straight, holding up position, keeping your knees together, feet together, squeezing your hamstrings. Should feel it in your hamstrings, possibly in your bum, maybe in your lower back, depending on the weakness. You're trying to keep that straight line, super important. Okay, you've got 10 seconds, then we're going to go straight back in. Keep your hips up. Three, two, one, draw down, tap, up, big drive up. Good. So keep it up, keep it going. Keep drawing those knees up. Together, big drive up, keeping the hips up as tall as you can. You got it. Two more, and again, you're pausing at the top. Go to the last one. Draw it out, draw it in, then holding it. Keeping those hips up, squeeze that back, squeeze that bum, squeeze those hamstrings. Got one more round, okay? You're doing amazing, keep it up. Almost there, five seconds. Three, two, last time, let's go.
That's it. Keep coming up as tall as you can. Squeeze in the back, squeeze in the bum. Good. Two more. Then you can relax. Great job. Well done. Gently relaxing. Coming down. Grab yourself a little drink if you need it. Let me know how you're doing. Don't know about you, but everything is sore. Hundred <laughs> percent. It was tough. So have a little drink, get your breath back. Whew. Yeah, super fire. Loving the emojis, Kim. Loving the emojis. So. Your bum should be on fire, your hamstring should be sore, your lower back should have been getting there, okay? So it's really, really important to, when you do those exercises, right, to make sure that straight line is engaged. It's called a triple extension, usually, so like this would be a triple extension, okay? So it means your hips extended, your knees extended, and your ankle is extended. In that sense, obviously, you still have a bent knee, so it's a, a single extension, if you will. However, the more you focus on that hip joint, okay, that's the most powerful joint in the, uh, that you have in your body, okay? It's the biggest, it's the strongest. Um, so the more you emphasize that and you engage this, it influences below it, it influences above it, okay? So if you want a strong back, if you want strong legs, if you have sore knees or if you have a sore hip and you want to try and get rid of those, the more you engage, right, and you do those type of things where you're forced to hold your posture when you're tired, the better you're gonna be in everyday life when you get tired, okay? So, this one, you're gonna tuck your toes up. You're gonna make sure you're in a straight line, like you're stuck in between two window panes, if you will. Two objects right in front, so you're dead straight, okay? You want your neck to be neutral. If you want a pillow, grab a pillow for your head, otherwise you're gonna hold it, okay? Try not to do this, okay? You're gonna place this hand, Arm up, if you can, palm up, okay? Just like so. Toes are tucked up, okay? And you're driving away with a heel, so your feet face forward, and you're not rotating as you do so, okay? So it's hand on hip, okay? Neck nice and neutral, body nice and straight. Going out, tucking those toes up. Big draw away, just like so. Try and open up that chest by drawing the shoulder back, if you can. That's it, two more. That's one, good, well done. Spinning around, opposite side. That's it, toes up. There we go, set yourself up so you're nice and straight. It's kind of like a balancing act, if you will. And you're drawing away. Remember to focus on that heel so that foot is dead straight. Okay, don't want any sort of rotation away from you. Good. Set two more. Last one. Good. Spinning around again. I hope you're getting adventurous with your, your floor spins. <laughs> so, big draw out, same in. As old as you can. Nice, proud chest. Making sure you're focusing on that heel. That leg stays straight, so keep an eye on it. See you halfway. Keep that other leg off the floor if you can. See you 10 seconds. Keep it up. Keep it going. Just start to feel it in your quads now. Good, last one. Good job. Spin around again. Sit straight in. Let's go. Proud chest, straight body. Sit. 
That's it. Last one. And relax. Good job. Well done. Whew. So, slide your bands off. Here we go. How are we doing so far? Are we okay? <laughs> Sore and aching all over. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. So, you'll need this band for the next one, okay? It's going to challenge yourself, going to challenge a full body exercise, going to engage that upper body, okay? It's going to be an overhead squat. Now, if you want to, you can use a weight, okay? Just be careful and comfortable with that weight, okay? You need to be able to hold it. You need to be able to engage, okay? By rotating that, that armpit and drawing that kind of shoulder blade down, okay? Just like we practiced the other week. And you kind of opening and sitting, okay? That weight stays above your crown, okay? Um, so if you want to use a bar, a uh, dumbbell, um, kettlebell, it's completely up to you. Or you can use one of these resistance bands because it's going to be <laughs> challenging, okay? So to begin with, we're going to start here. Nice and cool, okay? Arms going to go up, like me, you're going to get your belly up, okay? Going to sink down as deep as you can. And a big drive up, okay? You ready? So let's go. So keep those arms as still as you can. Hips back first, sink it down to your chair, squeeze your bum at the top. Always hips back first. Two more. Good. Carefully chucking it down. Grab yourself a little seat for a second. Have yourself a moment. Let me know how you're doing. How did you find that? What's going to happen when you do those type of exercises, particularly when you're tired, you're going to want to bend your arms, okay? Actually makes it harder for you. Go to walk through, bring your arms slowly, lower and lower and lower until they get here, especially if you're using the bands, because it's going to make it easier because there's less resistance, okay? Try your best. To lock it out. All right, lock those arms out, load the shoulder, not the arm itself. Okay, that's the biggest difference. By drawing those shoulder blades in, loads your trunk, okay, makes your back work harder, makes your abs work harder, makes your upper back and around the shoulders work harder. Okay, yes, your arms are doing some work, however, the bigger muscles take control. Okay, if you bend your arms. It then makes it about the small muscles here, in your forearm, okay, uh, in the shoulder. And naturally, they struggle and fail. Um, what you kind of want to do is by drawing in, okay, you load your lats a lot more. Um, you load your kind of shoulder and your upper back a lot more, okay. And then by dipping your hips first as opposed to your knees, you load your hips over your knees, okay. Safeguards that gets everything working and all fighting fit and in order, okay? So, this time, see if you can draw it up first, okay? You're gonna go from a seated position. So, nice and tall, head up, chest up, arms straight, big drive up, let's go. Try to allow the chair to take your body weight, then drive up. Try not to tap it. Try not to bounce. Take the momentum away from it. Yes, it's going to be harder, but you're going to get stronger that way. Have more control. Just be better. Two more. Good, well done. Shake it out. You got one more round, okay? Whew. 
So a little trick if you need it. Big deep breaths. Try to get that heart rate back down. Big deep breaths. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super warm. So 10 seconds, and then we'll go to get, okay? It's your last round. Try and keep it up as tall as you can, okay? You're amazing. So Jenny, get ready. Press it up, nice and tall. Make sure the band's secure, the weight's secure. Whatever you're using, big, powerful drive. Keep it up. Two more. Good job, well done. Shake it out. Check bones down. Grab a little drink, let me know how you're doing. How are we feeling so far, are we okay? Hard on the knees, just make sure your bum is going back each time, okay? And then that way your knees will be safe. If you're dropping your knee first forward, and I'll show you now. I'll show you now what I mean by that, okay? So there's a huge difference, okay? My cell phone's big bands, yeah. So, Different trees going hip back, okay, is you load here, then your knees go forward, okay. Now, if you go knee forward, then hip, you put all the weight in the front where your patella attaches. Now, you've got one muscle that attaches right up here on the knobbly bit of your hip, comes all the way down, okay. Your patella sits into that tendon, okay, and then attaches up here. And your tibial tuberosity, okay, um, and your that's that's your kneecap, that's your patella, okay. However, if you push your knee forward and then load it, imagine sliding that that femur, that thigh, uh, into your knee and then loading it with that kneecap and that tendon, okay. It ends up working a lot harder than if you sink your hips back and kind of almost drive your hip into itself, all right. So you're driving this femur into that deep socket, loading it with your glutes and your pelvis, coming down and then drawing up as much as you can. So when you are there, if you really struggle, draw the uh, lower half of your leg into the bottom half of your chair or sofa, okay? And then literally, you kind of almost using it to kind of balance and then fall back on, okay? Because all of a sudden, when you sit down, you sit down perfectly and you don't have this uh, kind of knee pain or any kind of developmental pain. Yeah, when we lose our chair, all of a sudden we start doing weird squats and landing like this and so on and so forth. Yeah, if we just think about it and think about what we're doing, we already know the movement pattern. It's just there, pretending that there's a chair there. You push your bum back to sit on it and you go down on the chair. And then uh, the goal is to then imagine that there is an object in front of your face that you don't lean forward like this. And that has a lot to do with um, actual ankle mobility and back strength, okay? It has nothing to do with hips, all right? Because when you squat, this angle needs to be the same as this angle. So when you're there like that, you then drive up. So it's the ability to draw forward with the ankle um, as you load it, okay? So just be aware of those things and use those little tips. Kind of just bring the lower half of your leg right up against uh, your chair, your box, whatever you're squatting on, okay? But yeah, it's a toughie. 
So what you're going to do this time, right, is lose the weight. It's going to be super quick, super short and sharp, okay? Um, nice and quick, right? I'm going to start there, okay? You're going to hop here, hop there, okay? Now, it's a quad burner. You're going to feel it this hard. Of your neck. Now, uh, for people like Brian who have bad knees, okay, you're just going to squat down, step out wide, squat there, step back, step there, okay? So it's less dynamic. Uh, for everybody else who are feeling great, uh, you're going to come here and you're going to be as bouncy as you can, right? Then you're going to spin around, you're going to come down and do an ab exercise, all right? So we all ready? Three, two, one. And go, best you can, keep that chest up, soft as you can when you're landing. Two, three, two, one, coming down, okay? So, from there, legs to up, and then in, stretching out, just like so. As far as you can, using your arms to balance. That's the one. Here we go, two more, and straight back in. Woo! Good, coming up. Take your time if you've got a bit of blood pressure issues, or if you get a bit lightheaded. That's it, find a pace that you can maintain. 10 seconds, guys, come on. Keep it up. Three, two, one. Good job. Sat down, kicking those legs. Yep, here we go. With it, just take your time. So, three, two, and relax. A little rest. How are we doing, Bray? Yeah, okay, so, when you're squatting, what I want you to focus on, Bray, okay? Is do this one where you're there, hands on your chest, hips back, slow and steady, tap, shoot up. Okay, so it's slow and steady, tap, shoot up. That way, it's going to help you teach you um, to basically load your hips more and emphasize drawing the knee back. Okay. And then just slow it right down on the way down. It's going to help load those muscles eccentrically. You're going to tap it. Imagine there's a little pin on the chair and shoot up, squeezing your bum at the top, okay? Everybody else is going to do exactly the same. And then when we're doing abs bright, just get involved with the abs, all right? Doing amazing. Little elephants over there, I like it. <laughs> so, big deep breaths, okay? Here. That's it, let's go. Look at that, quiet like a mouse. <laughs> That's it, doing amazing, all right? Keep it up. Trick is super bouncy. Just remember, Kim, like I said about plyometric box jumping, what you're trying to do is land as softly as you can. That's it, three, two, one, good job, coming down. Legs out wide. Woo! It's got warm all of a sudden. Great effort, guys. 10 seconds. <laughs> Keep improving. Now we're back up. Two. One, good, last round. Good, let's go.
Good, 10 seconds, keep it up. Come on, don't quit now. Three, two, one, good job. Well done, from there, tall as you can. You got this guys, come on, stick with me. 10 seconds, and then it's over, come on. Keep going, dig deeper, two more. Whoa. Big deep breaths, grab a little drink, grab a towel, phenomenal. Really, really good. Amazing effort, guys. Well done, Brian. Well done, everybody else. Really, really good, okay? With those type of things, same with everything, the only person you're competing against is yourself, is yesterday. I worry about anybody else. If you have to regress certain exercises, do it. You know, because long term is only going to benefit you, your lifestyle, everything that you want to do, everything you dream about doing. It's just going to really, really help you as an individual. And that's what it's about, you know. The more you lose the perception on everybody else, the more you're going to push yourself, the more results you're going to get, the happier you're going to be, and the more worthwhile this process is. Because it's so much more than just the physical. All right, amazing effort. So, sitting into this position, big deep breaths now. Coming down, slowing it down. Big deep breaths. Take your time with it. So, coming up. Curve in the back as much as you can. Pushing it away. Good, straight in the opposite direction. Squeezing the back this time, softening the elbows. From there, there's one for you. Keep your feet together. Take your knees out nice and wide, walk it forward. Big stretch out. Woo! <laughs> Amazing effort today, guys. Honestly, really, really good. Don't forget to let me know how you're feeling in the comment section. Give the video a little thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you worked hard. And if you haven't already, hit that little red button. Subscribe to the channel. Become a part of it. So from there, sliding around onto your bum, one leg forward, one leg back, just like Kim showed us the other day on Instagram. Sliding one hand down the side, one hand over the top, coming down as deep as you can. Big old stretch. That's perfect. So coming up, swap the sides, phenomenal. I cannot stop sweating. <laughs> so knuckles against the leg, arm over the top, deep as you can down. Good, and relax, good job. Have an absolutely amazing day. <laughs> Ooh. I'm roasting, don't know about you guys.
Oh, I can see. <laughs> so have an amazing one. Absolutely well done. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant job. Honestly, really, really good. Thank you so much for your comments, getting involved. It's so good to see one, you all here, two, that comment section being lively um, because I do want you uh, to be a part of it. Um, it's not just about me, I promise. It's more about you than me. Um, but yeah, well done. Have an amazing one. Honestly, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know. Um, off to recover. <laughs> yeah, good, strong lay down. Um, don't forget to, if you're feeling a bit tight, maybe do a bit more stretching. Maybe hit the foam roller. If you don't know how to foam roll or you want uh, some guidance with that foam roll, hit one of our uh, foam rolling videos and I can literally talk you through that process, whether it's the upper body, lower body, full body. Um, we've got videos for that as well. So have an amazing one. Tomorrow is all about recovery. Okay, so this feeling right now, it won't be tomorrow. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll be much more calmer. Much more relaxed, much more zen-like, um, ready for that kind of mid midweek lull on a Wednesday. So, yeah, hopefully I'll see you there again tomorrow. Have an amazing day. Absolute champions. Have a lovely one. Take care. See you soon. <laughs>